All right, well, she's a Hollywood actress who shared the big screen with the likes of Tom Cruise. You are a very, very lucky girl. You know that? I know. Well, actress Julianne Davis breaking the Hollywood mold, the liberal mold, revealing that she's a conservative. In a new opinion piece, she writes this, the written and very public insults from Hollywood peers on social media and elsewhere have been numerous. Members of the Hollywood left don't want to listen, discuss, or even see a dissenting viewpoint that challenges their own comfortable echo chamber. It's ironic that an industry that constantly talks about diversity is so judgmental, hateful, and utterly rigid in its group think, end quote. Actress Julian Davis joins us right now. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Fully outed here on Fox and Friends <laughs> How as does a it conservative, feel? which you've done already. Um, I'm a bit overwhelmed, actually. I didn't expect this response in any way, shape, or form. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's really overwhelming. What, what does it mean to be a conservative today? Um, you know, how would you define conservatism in your mind? For me, I, I believe in freedom. Um, I believe in capitalism. Um, I believe that I, I believe in the autonomy of the individual, that the individual and their own self-respect, their own um, uh, way for them to build themselves up and make their own life. I think that that's really important rather than depending on the state. Julian, we hear that. We hear the, uh, that's a great description, by the way. We hear the de description of Hollywood as well as this sort of completely liberal town. Uh, uh, you're, you're affirming that that's exactly what it is. Why were you so fed up? Why did you feel yeah, the no, need it's, it's, to it, do that? It's actually not just liberal. It's very, very progressive. Yeah, it's Extreme. not just liberal. So and how you, hard was that? I mean, because yeah. you've been in Hollywood for years and years. I mean, you go to parties, you know, you're on the, the set of a movie, you know, filming a movie. Do you just try to be part of the conversations and agree with people and kind of hold you yourself know, back? Um, yeah, oftentimes I would just kind of bite my lip, you know, and just not say anything. Or I would say, yeah, you know, and I'd try and play the fence for, for years. Sure. I played the fence. And I just... I got to the point where I just thought, you know what, no, I'm not going to live in fear anymore. What's wrong with self-determination? And I thought even if they... You mentioned self-determination. You said you mentioned self-determination is sort of the foundation of your conservative beliefs. It seems like that, that Hollywood would champion that. There's so many stories of people getting on a bus, moving from Kansas to move out to Hollywood to try to make it on their own. Exactly. I, I think that the thing, Hollywood is sort of like a, a microcosm of what's happening all over the country today. Um, we are not um, accepting of, of all views, and Hollywood of all places should be accepting of all views. Yeah. So I, mean, I, I don't understand why, why this is happening, and, and that's why, I mean, you know, people are going to call me a pariah, <laughs> um, or think of me as a pariah in Hollywood, but... I'm just glad that at least somebody, even though it's just little old me, can speak up. And I just, I just feel like I'm speaking up for a lot of people that are afraid to speak up. Well, you very much are. You're not a pariah here for sure. It, briefly, it, at the end, does anyone else come to you, you know, privately and say, I'm with you? Yes. <laughs> so, so they're thousands. out there. They're thousands, thousands really. Thousands of people have come to me and said that. And uh, How I, about mean, in Hollywood? I, I don't feel like I'm... I'm in a few, yes. A wow. few. Not you want, many. You, you want but names. A few. <laughs> I want, you want names. names. Yeah, you want to well, get them. You're not going to get them. Yeah. You know what? I would never do that to them because right. the yeah. thing is, is that a lot of these people are, they're right in the middle of the Hollywood machine. They're working for a network or a studio. And to do that, I mean, they would get fired. Yeah. It's amazing. Unbelievable. The thing is, is that there's a lot of really. Well, a lot of the really uh, big actors or, or directors or producers or whatever that are conservative, and they're making a lot of money for the studios and networks, of course those people aren't going to get fired. Well, I'm kind of like the little guy in Hollywood, the little guy that um, if we spoke up, we're expendable, and they would much rather not have one of us and have one of their own. Um, and, and that's the problem because you think, you know, it, Oh, there's a lot of conservatives out there, or maybe people that have a slightly dissenting belief, that have a lot to offer artistically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, they're talented, they, they, they have great ideas, they've got integrity, they work hard, 
and, and those people are just going to be shut down. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for facing your fears and, and being true to yourself and sharing your story with us this morning, Julianne. Julian, I know it's not I, easy. You've I, done I a great really thing. I just really feel that it's a. Thank you. We appreciate yeah, it. You did a great you. thing. Hollywood should be a voice okay. for all different types of people, right. Julian. So thank you so much for writing I that out. That's so tolerant.